video reaches 1,000 likes, we'll be giving away two of our t-shirts from the Maliminous store, including the rare rarity and daring do variants. Hey, what's up guys? It's me, Faith of and I'm here to bring you guys the top 10 hacks in Pokemon Go. Unfortunately for you, we won't be telling you exactly how to do these hacks, so I guess you will just have to get good at the video game. Anyways, as usual, this is an exhaustive list and really comprises of me scouring the internet, looking for hacks that have been verified to at least exist in some capacity. They may not be accessible to everyone, but I know that they do in fact exist. And I, I gotta tell you, from my research, YouTube comments on these videos are just, just awful. Please, please. Do not click any of the links that are on these videos. You're really better off just playing the game normally. The amount of viruses that you will probably get from looking for these hacks, it's just not worth it, man. It's not worth it. Number 10. All right, so it's not exactly a hack, but it looks like if you show some disobedience and show that you're a rebel and, and that you're truly worthy of Team Valor because every other team is just, you know, awful, you can get Pikachu's your starting Pokemon. All you have to do, and I'm only telling you the ones that aren't going to really ruin the game for everyone else or has a very low likelihood of working how to do it, you just have to walk away from your three starting Pokemon. See you later, fucker! There you go. That's all you have to do. Just walk away. I have no idea how far you have to walk, but apparently if you just walk away from your three starters, you'll get da -da 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 -da, a Pikachu. <laughs> Number nine. Okay, so it's called Poke Radar. There's a bunch of different ones, but pretty much the gist of it is it's gonna be a map of your entire area with Pokemon just littered all over the map. Now Pokemon spawn and despawn, so it's not like if you see an extremely rare Pokemon and it's halfway across the city that you're just able to go and get it. So it's not too game breaking, but it is an unfair advantage that does help certain players and hurts others. I actually have no idea where to get it. I, I think there's ones that are on the app store. They're, they're all over the place. This one is probably pretty vanilla. You can probably get this one without really too much worry for your computer. I'm not gonna be providing you links at all. I don't wanna see the from Nintendo or whoever makes Pokemon Go. Number eight. So, you guys know how pitchers have, you know, a breaking ball and a curve ball? Well, it looks like when you're playing Pokemon Go, you can actually throw a curve ball by spinning the ball before you throw it, and it actually increases your accuracy or something like that. It, it helps you catch these, these Pokemon so that you can force them to battle these innocent, cute animals that you're just going out, stealing from the wild, and forcing the fight for you or just keeping them locked up in these tiny bowls for your collection. You sick people. Number seven. All right, so in-game currency, we all know it sucks because they always give an option to buy currency with your real money, with your real hard-earned McDonald's money, and it's just not, it's just not fair, man. Just, just give me an equivalent exchange. Didn't you watch Full Metal Alchemist? So apparently you can actually hack the Pokemon coins, which we all know this was coming any time there's in-game currency. Someone's already starting some sort of way to hack it so that they don't have to grind for that currency. And I can, I, I can't really disagree with that. Now again, not gonna provide you a link. This one, 99% of them are going to be viruses. Keep that in mind. But apparently, because I've seen it, you can hack these po coins. You, you can get like 9,999, whatever. So you can do it and it has been done. The likelihood of Joe Blow being able to do it is next to none. You know, not without getting tons of backdoor stuff on their computer or their phone. So, hey, you wanna, you, you wanna hack? You, you're gonna have to take the risk. Number six, spawn a Pokemon. There are hundreds of videos, and there's one by some guy specifically who I'm not even gonna bother shout out, who for some reason puts a giant watermark over their video and threatens to sue you if you use their Pokemon Go footage without buying it. 
I don't think he realizes that he doesn't legally have that kind of right because now you're, you're interfering with the EULA and all kinds of stuff. But that aside, I've seen people who spawn different Pokemon because the, the code is in there to the game. And even if you just made a copy of the shell game, because we're not seeing this on an actual phone, we're seeing it as desktop capture. So if you were to make a copy, you can in inject code into the game really it, it could be an injector who knows but i've seen enough footage to say that this is something that can be possibly done that you can spawn pokemon so you can spawn a thousand a million mewtwo's you might crash your game but you could do it i guess now at this one i'm 99.9999% sure that you're not going to be able to do this this is essentially running the, the unsigned code in the game. I, I'm not a programmer. I'm a I'm a front-end developer JavaScript. That's that's my That's my son and please never speak to me or my son again number five Level hacks. So there used to be a glitch in the game called Halo 3 back in the 360 and What it would be is you could get level 50 which was the maximum by losing because every time you quit a game you would get negative XP and eventually the negative XP Would just become positive XP So essentially you could level by going backwards I'm not exactly sure how it works in Pokemon, but apparently you can just level up Whenever you want there are level hacks I don't know if you can actually just choose a level. There's there's all kinds of people who are posting different things, but there's enough of it out there that I'm pretty sure this is a legitimate thing that you can do. And if you're so inclined, you can scour the internet looking for this one. You can brag to all your friends how you're this impossibly high level as they laugh at you, clearly knowing that you hacked the game, but secretly wishing that they could have done it too. Number four. All right, so it takes a certain amount of kilometers you know i'm american i'm not a communist so i want to say miles but it takes a certain amount of kilometers walked to hatch a pokey egg. that's the basic gist of the mechanic well there's different people who have figured out how to be lazy fat americans as usual and <laughs> bypass this yes you know the game that's supposed to put force you to go outside get some sunshine and actually interact with people let's find every way to cut that out of the equation so here's a way you can not have to walk you can put your phone on a i'm this is so old to me that i don't even know what to call it it's, it's apparently there's these things called records that used to exist and there's record players and it spins and you can put your phone on it honestly i'm not even sure what a record is but apparently it it holds like some sort of archaic music i don't know why people didn't just use an ipod it seems a lot faster but yes you can totally be a fan ass and do that or you could you know walk to the store and back number three tap to walk so this one is a little bit more obscure and it kind of goes off of the the booting onto your desktop i believe but apparently you can click or you can tap and your character will walk in a certain direction so it's pretty much a mixture of another hack that we're going to mention coming up here but you can even bypass putting it on a record you don't even have to get up to put your phone on a record. This is how lazy people are. You can literally just sit there and tap to move. I I'm waiting for us to just develop some sort of mental technology where you don't even have to tap, where you can just think about your character moving, all because we don't want to actually go outside of our houses to play a video game. Number two. GPS spoofing. All right, so you guys have probably seen this somewhere, but you can spoof where your phone is located and it will put you in China, Brazil, Japan. It's like traveling without leaving your house 
or any of the cultural experiences of traveling. But hey, you save a lot on, you know, airline fees. And apparently you get to catch different Pokemon, even though the creators have said that that's not true. But hey, it sure looks cool if, if you're an international Pokemon trainer from the comfort of your bedroom. Number one is drones. Yes, I'm sure you guys have seen the infamous PewDiePie video. You can become a Pokemon master by strapping your phone to a drone and flying it all over the place. And that is how you can play Pokemon Go if you so choose. It, <laughs> it's interesting he didn't quite get it to work, but I'm pretty sure one of you out there could. Now that is my top 10 Pokemon Go hacks. I hope you enjoyed. I know it's something different than what I normally do. I normally do a bunch of cartoon stuff, but hey, Pokemon's a cartoon. Anyways, guys, please drop a like on this video and I shall see you guys in the next one. I've been Faith the Eliminus, your lovely, lovely host that you adore so much. Leave me a comment down below if you guys play Pokemon Go, what kind of weird hacks you guys have seen out there and what kind of strange experiences you guys have had while playing Pokemon Go. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Peace to them out. Woo!